I'm a fan of animal-based diets. Now, if you don't eat a lot, or maybe even if you're plant-based, which I empathize, but if you are, then you absolutely literally have to consume supplements, right? <laughs> like, because you're not getting any of this, you're not getting any of that from your plant-based diet. If you're not eating a lot of animal-based foods, maybe you're lacking, maybe it's a financial decision, maybe it's ethical, maybe, I don't know, maybe you have an aversion to it, whatever, then you absolutely have to be <laughs> supplementing because you're not getting enough of your minerals and your nutrients. Look at these. Bioavailable forms pretty much only found in animal foods. Creatine, carnate, uh, different taurine and amino acids, vitamin A, B12, K2, riboflavin, biotin, iron, iodine, and zinc. Some of these are literally only found in animal foods. There are certain B vitamins that you cannot find in the plant kingdom at all. I'm pretty sure creatine is one of those ones that you can't find in anything either. And probably some of these carnite or carnitine, not carnite, carnitine. Yeah, I mean, you're literally not gonna find some of these, right? And if you're eating an animal-based diet, they're gonna come to you freely and easily. If you're eating a, a plant-based diet, you have to supplement, right? And the foods that you're eating have a lot of anti-nutrients in them. So, you know, you might have to supplement more uh, and what little nutrition that is in your plant-based diet, it's gonna be fighting against you. Like you probably can't even absorb half of it. I mean, it's just, it is what it is, right? The natural human diet, the optimal human diet is a animal-based diet. And then you can throw in plants and other foods like that into that diet as filler, not as the foundation. 